audience. What? What are you doing inside these red mittens from Canada? 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 That's for carries. Is it legal to smuggle mittens from Canada to the United States? Because I don't want to go to jail today. Or tomorrow. Really, I don't know why I specify today. But next week, though, totally open. Intro of darkness and redness and whiteness. Oh, I got, the, I got the smudge. Look how fast I got that freaking smudge. My finger smudge. It just creates some smudge and I wipe it off if you're new to these videos. Uh, Hack Canada 2012. Woo! These are current. Current Canadian gloves. Have you been to Borders Cafe? If you buy something from Borders and bring it outside of Borders, is that called smuggling? If not, they should call. I would buy more stuff from that. I just love the feeling of smuggling. It's almost as comfortable as snuggling. That's probably why I like it so much. It just feels about the same. Like, you know, traveling across borders or, the, I guess, the entrance of Borders Cafe. Especially if you, you know, buy something illegal in Borders and bring it out. Like something that was outlawed outside of the uh, <clears throat> store, which is very difficult to find. You'd have to have somebody with, you know, Canadian paraphernalia, I guess. Like, you know, mittens or, or whatever. I mean, these are, these are probably legal. Uh, you can't wear any, anything that says another country's name in your account. Or you can be shot on site. That's why my windows are tinted. So I'll be fine. I'll be, what's the worst thing that could happen? And the guy, the only guy with the gun in this entire parking lot is over there. So, and I waved down him coming. I was like, hey, keep up the good work and keep your gun holstered. He's like, she looked at me like, he was like, oh, hell no, you ain't telling me to host, what's host to me, that's offensive. He talks like that, he's a 70-year-old uh, man, and he's got gray hair. Anyways, we'll, we'll see him later, next time, and I'll possibly, you know, dodge his bullets uh, if he shoots, because I'm really fast. Uh, all Americans are. I'm just kidding, don't shoot at any American if you're not, okay. <clears throat> so, SOPA was overturned, and I don't know, or maybe not even overturned, I guess they just stopped overturned, what did that even do, flip it, like, to the back, and hopefully the back of SOPA is blank, so if you overturn it, you're like, oh, it's blank, there's a piece of paper, nothing, it's SOPA, throw it away, and shred it. Uh, I guess that's why they call it overturning stuff. But well, I don't think it was overturned, it was just, the people are stuck, they're not gonna push it anymore, uh, I'm not gonna, I don't know if pushing it really, I didn't push it off the table, or push it into the shredder, I guess, would be the same. Ah, I'm really not good at English. The Obama administration said that if it did get passed, then they would, I guess, overturn it, so they would flip it, you know, so it'd be a blank piece of paper. Uh, yeah, so if you guys are any favors about flipping stuff over, overturning, definitely reference that that's what it actually means, because then you'll probably lose points. Don't do that. Okay, there's a lot of advice. Don't listen to any of it. I know I'm saying that too late. I should have started this video out with, like, the future upcoming advice. Don't listen to it. But I didn't know that was going to happen. Like, sometimes advice just pours out of my mouth. And it's all of shit really worth listening to. But don't ever heed it. And don't really listen to it either. Uh, okay, so anyways. Gauntlets. Of Canadian gauntlets of protection from cold. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be wielding these all over the place. Is it cold outside? Oh, my gee. Oh, my God. The guy with the gun. Oh, that's a cart. It's a cart. Oh, scare me. God, carts. They have cart-shaped guns. That's why it just... Oh, gee, that's chilly. Get back in here all nipply I am. I, you, I'm, I didn't look. I'm not going to. It's inappropriate depending on your gender. If it's a guy, <laughs> totally natural. If it's a girl, totally natural. But if it's something else, like, dude, I don't know where your nipples are if you're from another planet or country even. Uh, so let's just not get into that. You want some coffee? Oh, it's a video. Never mind. I always offer food and beverage. Mmm, mmm. It's disgusting. I don't put any sweetener in it. It's not worth drinking. I don't know why I do. But I bought it and I, and I always do buy it. And so I gotta take advantage of all the liquid that's in there. Not take advantage of, like, in that way. I mean, like, drink it. That's it. Anyways, ugh, did I talk about smuggling stuff out of borders? I, I want to I want to go into borders and just pitch that idea. I want to go into borders and be like, you guys should call it, when you purchase something here and leave, you should call it smuggling. And that's just, I just wanna go do that. I'm gonna do that maybe today. Uh, and then I, you know, I wanna snuggle and smuggle at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna read this letter, seriously, because I'm getting off track. Not that there's a track really necessarily to be on. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Toby, Toby Tobuscus Joe Turner, welcome to the start of this letter of epicosity. You are a r hilarious and I religiously sacrifice animals to your videos every day. I literally lull every time because you are just that funny and animals don't actually sacrifice animals. Please know I live in an arctic tundra. Yeah, you need damn mittens. Oh, you sent me damn mittens. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sure these are very more, much more helpful to you than in Los Angeles. It's like a nipply 69 and a half degrees. Uh, seriously, I looked. I'm not just saying 69 and a half because that's a great number to say, but I did add that half to prevent any sort of association to the number that without the half. Anyways, ah, God. Okay, feel free to use our Canada mitts in the package. Sometimes we all chant your songs in class because you're the only reason we make it through class. Aw, that's adorable. I prevent any learning from happening. The only way I can get through class is if there's no learning done. Because the learning just makes me, uh, you know, like, I, I have to leave the second I start. Like, I started, I'm, I'm learning from this. Like, you spell mitts, M-I-T-T-S. So I, I know I know that now. I think I knew that at one point. Look at how neat this handwriting is, Katie. What's up, Katie? Oh, wait, who, who's writing it? Tandy? Tandy. Tandy's writing it, right? No, no, she isn't. Andrea? She says the word boobs down here. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> let's go and keep. Okay, please come to Canada. We'll buy you all coffee and you can bring Griff's to meet his long-lost brother, Gus. <gasps> Where you at, Gus? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, his head's folded. Look at the buddy. Oh, you're cute. Oh, man. So, Gus, Gus. I'm not going to add a prefix and a suffix to your dog's name. I apologize. Okay, so. Okay, that's my dog. A picture's enclosed. We also have enclosed a $5 Tim Hortons gift card. Tim Hortons? Ho, ho, ho. I don't know what that is. But I'm going to find one. And I'm going to utilize this $5. Or just keep the gift card because it has a snowman on it. I love snowmen. The men. Well, you have to be plural. Okay, so continue. Kim Walton. What is that? Is that a Canadian, Canadian store? Okay. Canadian coffee is the best. Dude, I believe. I'm going to go to Canada. I'm going to get a passport. I'm going to port my pass over there. My body. I mean, not my, my... Okay. I'm really hungry now. Please. But I really love I'm a bird. <laughs> Thanks to you so much for being the entertainment on my computer screen. Success for being alive. Okay, peace out. Boop. One more thing. If you ever meet Katie, she cries. So use your Canadian tissues we gave you. <laughs> Katie cries. Zox, Zox, love you. Tandy laughs at boobs. Two laughs. Also, if you sneeze in this letter, I didn't use the Kleenexes. I will. Ooh, there's Kleenex. I'm perfect. Kleenexes are best used after sneezing. So if you guys want to know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to learn in this uh, letter. Okay. P.S. Please put a lazy dog in. I will buy you a eighteen thousand dollar dog food. Eighteen kil
Uh, it's been seven and a half minutes. I mean, meh, almost. Seven twenty-five. Seven twenty-five seconds. Just guessing. Uh, I mean, probably about by now. Probably is about seven and a half minutes exactly. Just guessing. Now it's probably more. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Uh, bless your face. What else? Uh, so soap is overturned. I think or it's, we're good. So I can still do Toby games at least for a while until the new thing, which is soap, which is called Piper or Peep or whatever. If that gets passed. Uh, and I posted a Terraria episode today, and it's like the lowest rated Terraria ever because I'm spending too much time in my dungeon because I'm trying to find a freaking pistol because I'm gonna turn it into the thing, the Phoenix Master. Do you care? <laughs> I don't either. Uh, but I want it so I can kill the wall, the flesh wall. Anyways, there's a wall of flesh in this game. If you don't watch Terraria. It's a big meaty murder wall. And it's it killed me a couple times, and I tried to kill it the easy way because I googled how to kill it the easy way, and I still couldn't do it. So I'm trying to get a better freaking weapon. I'm gonna go drink my gross coffee. Bless your face. If you sneeze in this video, bless you. It's not gross. Sponsor. It's so let's just coffee bean. Actually, it's really good. I just don't put anything in it, so it's not as good as it could be if I put as it should be. I put some. Okay. Bless your face. If you sneeze in this video, bless you. Peace off. But do 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 do. Subscribe. I throw darkness, then redness, then whiteness, then a personness. Look in my windowness. Then I didn't even see that, but I, yeah, I explained it. It really happened. Then.